guys welcome and welcome again to my channel my name is Dalito Chuelo and today guys I am very excited because today I have a guest on my channel I will, I will let her introduce herself but um before she does I'll just let you know what we will be talking about today we want to talk about the cost of living between um Zambia and um Canada or Lusaka and Toronto because she is in Lusaka and I am in Toronto. So we will uh, basically talk about these two um, cities because that's what we're used to and that's what that's where we live in. So um, without further ado, let her introduce herself. Hi guys, uh, so my name is Eva, Eva Key, and I have a YouTube channel. I hope that this is going to link it um, down below yeah. you can watch it on my channel or you can watch it on Dalisa's channel or you can watch it on both just support us guys subscribe exactly. like share our video first of all i think i'll talk about me as being a mom and how much a daycare would cost because you know um over here eva it's different from back home right yeah sometimes back home you can choose to say i'm gonna employ a maid in the house and i'm not gonna send my child to the child care or and i think on that different part, reasons maybe you don't have the money or it's yeah. just by choice but here i don't really have a choice okay because uh for me i've taken care of them by myself at home oh wow that's um, amazing. but for another mom who is in a position like me who goes to work and you know sometimes they don't really necessarily go to work but maybe sometimes you just need your me time okay you don't need yeah, that's very important that's <laughs> very important around, around you so child care here goes two ways depending on your income yeah you can choose to do uh what they call child care subsidy oh okay so this subsidy what it does is that you apply for the government to chip in into the oh, okay. use of child yeah. care yeah. is that for everyone or it depends on how much you earn it can be everyone at the same time it can be depending on how much you're earning this subsidy what it does is that it's either it pays full or it pays half or oh, it pays it's full. Quarter, depending on yeah depending okay. on your monthly income or yearly income right mm -hmm. yeah so um, um when it's paying full then the child just goes there and mm -hmm. that's it you don't know about the bills you don't know about anything okay? you guys that's luxury that's luxury right there because here to be honest it is because childcare, yeah. you know it's very expensive here yeah daycare can be expensive yeah. over there i know that for a fact and i think that's yeah. where for us it's a bit okay because here getting in a maid is very very cheap you can even have five maids if you want yeah, yeah. exactly yeah you guys like like you are so lucky because so you lucky know, so lucky for us it is luxury to have mm. somebody to be helping you and you know over here you cannot be paying that person like per month over here it's hourly yeah it's hourly pay right? oh yeah so, oh yeah oh yeah yeah so you have to be calculating as you go okay she's working for eight hours that means maybe it's eight eight hours times 20 so maybe she's getting 20 uh dollars an hour Ooh. or uh, child, 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 child. Twenty dollars exactly. an hour for your so maid. Exactly. So that's hey. basically the pricing. Like it has to be fifteen to twenty mm. an hour. Mm. Mm. So wow. you know it it needs a lot of money, of which yeah. like for me I cannot afford. I've never okay. had a maid. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've never had a maid. So, so yeah, how much so, exactly is childcare? Like how much can it range from if you actually took your child to, to daycare, how much would you be paying? Paying depends on how many days the child is going. Yeah. How many hours the child is staying. But on average, it can be from 300 to maybe 600. Mm. But for me, since I haven't done it, I've seen my friends who have done it before. Yeah. Others have gotten uh, subsidy. So those who've got subsidy, it's like their children just go. Then some people are actually lying because I've seen somewhere where people are saying they're paying as much as $2,000 for child care is that possible though it would depend uh because like for me i am mm. just outside toronto yeah so when i say i'm outside toronto i'm like maybe 15 minutes drive yeah. now imagine somebody who lives right downtown toronto yeah yeah and then you go and drop your child at a child care right in toronto 
Oh my and god, you know, that would be something else. One of the expensive cities in the world, right? Mm, mm, it's one mm. of of course Vancouver over here is the most. But Toronto is pretty much the second or, or yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's like yeah. living I think, in New York. I think it even says Toronto is in, Toronto and Vancouver are even more expensive than um New York or something. I don't know. So mm -hmm. imagine someone who is living um over there in in, in, in uh, downtown Toronto. Mm. It means rent child care everything would be higher than what i would be paying down here right mm -hmm. so it could be it could be that they might be paying a, a thousand plus you you okay. never know so anyway for us here in lusaka child care is pretty cheap um if you choose to take your child to to daycare then you'll be paying yeah. anything from I mean, it really depends on your pocket and also what type of um, type of daycare that you want. I mean, it could be as low mm -hmm. as like 800 kwacha, which is about, um, 800 kwacha can be what? Can be like about $80? $20, maybe $20 to $25 oh. a oh. month. There's childcare oh. that is that cheap. But if we're going oh. to look at like quality daycare, quality daycare mm -hmm. will start from about $87 a month. So it's pretty oh, cheap. I mean, oh. this is Africa. Yeah, so. it's pretty affordable, right? Me, yeah. I'm talking into hundreds. So. Yes, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. Like the daycare that I took my son, the very first time I took him to daycare, I was paying about $90 yeah. a, a, a term, not even a month. We don't pay, we don't pay monthly here. We pay oh. two months, like quarterly. We pay in quarters. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarter, I was paying about $90 um, a quarter. And right wow. now I'm paying about um how much am I paying? I'm paying about hundred and fifty three dollars for a quarter. So oh, I think wow. it's, it's pretty good, like here. Yeah. Pretty, and also you can get a maid to help you with the child if you like. You can even get a maid who's actually been to school all the way to grade twelve, and they can help you oh. to like teach your child the basics at home. Yeah, and maybe help out with the homework here and there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Also, if you choose to not take your, take your child to daycare, you can get a maid who's actually pretty learned. Well, at least mm. already learned, and then you can just be paying them, say, $2 a month. <laughs> but for me, I've made it a point to pay not less than $50. I just feel like yeah. if you pay any less than that, it's a bit inhuman. So even if yeah. the maid is staying with me in the house, they're eating my food, yeah. they're leaving everything, expenses on me, mm. I still pay them at least 50 bucks a, a month, which is... That's that is really kind of new because sometimes I, I i hear moms over there like okay this person is eating here eating you know what my, i mean you know what i mean this yeah but then myself, I'm like, hey. <laughs> when you think about the basics the basics that they need like other things that they may need to send money to their home then you think of paying somebody yeah. less than that it's just about it's just crazy even though our standard mm -hmm. of living is pretty low like Paying less than 50 bucks and a month is just crazy. It's crazy. You know, like uh, me being um, almost having the kids and staying at home most of the time. Yeah. Trust me, these guys, they do work so hard. They work it hard. It is a job. Yeah. Okay. It yeah. is not yeah. easy. It is not easy. And most of the time, these people, they wake up earlier than you guys. Exactly. Yeah. You know, they wake up early, clean up, cook for you, shower the kids, like, guys. I tell you, I haven't had a maid since um, uh, December 2020. And... I do my laundry. I can do my laundry quite all right. I'll put the clothes through the wash, dry them up and whatever. But when it comes to folding the clothes mm. and ironing the clothes, my friend, the power can even stay there one week or two weeks. I haven't done it. But when the maid is here, I'll make sure it's done the same day. You know what I mean? I so, know. Yeah, they, they do work quite a fair bit. They do. They so, do. Deliso, like how much is a standard cup of coffee? Like, you know, your regular go-to coffee in Toronto, how much do you pay for that? Depending on the restaurant, if you want to go to McDonald's, for example, in the morning, it can be from yeah. $1 to yeah. like $3, yeah. okay? Depending on the type of coffee you want. Please. Let's talk about the famous Tim Hortons. How much is the coffee at the Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so in two portions, it can be something like three dollars. What? Half, you know, they they make they call them names. The more the names go fancier, the more them. expensive. Yeah, is. yeah, All yeah. Right? Oh yeah, those names: cappuccino, latte, exactly, frappuccino, like blah, blah, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I go in there, to be honest, 
all I want is just white tea. Oh, okay. So you like I tea. Don't, okay. Yeah. I think for here though, if you're gonna go to the market, the regular old market, you'll be paying like cents, maybe fifty cents or thirty cents for a cup of coffee. But if you go to a sit down restaurant, a proper restaurant, it will start from about a dollar seventy for coffee. A cup of coffee, a cappuccino will be like one dollar seventy. Yeah, yeah. So and also we're not we're not very big coffee it's drinkers not, in Zambia. Yeah. So it's not something that people like drink on a day to day for it to become like super cheap. I think if mm-hmm. we drank coffee as much as maybe our neighbors, the Zimbabweans drink coffee, we would probably have our coffees very cheap. But it's more like a apamwamba's type of drink when you go to a yeah, restaurant. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And 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 maybe that's why me I'm telling you that you know I don't I don't drink that coffee so much because it's not in our sort of like can I say culture, culture or what, yes, as yes. in Africa. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. this thing of going into a restaurant and just to drink tea for us it's a waste of money. You understand? Yeah. yeah. You know, in Africa I don't remember the time I went into a restaurant and drink tea. Okay. When yeah. we go to a restaurant what we want is the famous chicken, chicken and, and chips. <laughs> But yeah. um, talking about chicken and chips, like in a standard restaurant, how much would chicken and chips be that size? Fries only can be maybe from, like in McDonald's, for example, it can be yeah. from a dollar to maybe two dollars. Okay. But when it starts getting to seven dollars, it means it's a combo. So yeah. maybe there's fries, maybe there's chicken on it, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe a, a Sunday um some some fruits for the kids depending on what you're buying some nuggets yeah now if we're talking about a restaurant that is not like a mcdonald's like a restaurant that's like uh, a restaurant restaurant a restaurant okay. restaurant you know restaurant restaurant then you're talking for a about full meal. yeah for a full meal you're talking about something between ten dollars and fifteen hey excuse me yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. For one is, person? That is, that is maybe also mm. um maybe when you add rice and maybe lamb or chicken or that's for uh, one person. That's ten dollars yeah, for that's one person. It up to, yeah, that's for one person. So it gets okay. up to thirteen dollars, ten dollars, thirteen, mm. fifteen, there about. Yeah. I think here for a standard meal in a restaurant, restaurant, like a standard meal for two people then it would get to ten dollars if you are just alone you'll be paying about five dollars six dollars but for two people mm-hmm. you're getting two meals two drinks it's about um ten dollars ten to twelve dollars somewhere there then when you go to fancy restaurants you'll be paying no, over fifteen dollars no, going for up two, yeah no for us for two it, it for two has to get to thirty dollars or mm-hmm. or more child anyway it's yeah. good you're earning dollars over there because you know some of us when you mention dollar, we are converting to our local currency, and you're like, "Excuse <laughs> me, I am not paying that much." <laughs> now, when you talk about groceries, like just the regular family uh, monthly groceries, how much would you like spend? Like for you, you're a standard family, like you've got three kids, you and your husband. How much is your total monthly expense on groceries alone? Okay, so when I talk of groceries, I have to um, put them into two. Yeah, okay. because they the, there is that um standard normal list that you make yeah and, and this one is the one that you take with you to walmart mm-hmm. okay so i am putting walmart because it is um the biggest i should say uh shop yeah. but also it is much more affordable but me um having the african thing in me of course I of course put from back home right yeah and yeah. now when i buy after buying these groceries uh from walmart i also want to go and spoil myself and buy food from back home okay, okay. yeah so that's why i'm 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 putting them into half okay so if i choose to go and buy those goody goodies from back home mm-hmm. um that is like a milli meal um the hard chicken maybe you want to have those sweet potatoes from back home now that is all when you um, say the sweet potatoes from back home do they actually get imported from africa or they are grown there because i know that there's some canadian farmers who are farming organic um produce most of the times they don't come from africa but they do come from jamaica 
Oh, so they do come from the yes. US, they do come from Dominica, and you mm. know, Jamaica and us, we are pretty much the same. The same, we yeah. Our food is pretty much of the same texture, and okay, you know, Fair enough. they are yeah. pretty much the same. They feel mm. like the ones from back home, and those are the expensive groceries that I actually get. Like, those potatoes can go up to $3.99 per pound, so maybe you find two mm. sweet potatoes. That are like three ninety nine, okay? That is like four dollars. That's expensive because Girl. you want to have maybe six potatoes or something, you know. By the time you're getting out of that shop mm. with just a handful of groceries, maybe yeah. you're spending almost a like hundred dollars or so. Yeah, but I think I think if I were you, I would probably just go to the local farmers market because it's it's highly possible that they also have the same produce. It might taste slightly different. But I know for sure that they will have sweet potatoes, they'll have the yams, they'll have those things at the farmer's market. Have you ever tried doing that? Probably they do. Unfortunately, I haven't tried those because, you know, I haven't been in Canada for so long. Oh, okay. So the time I, we came, we didn't take long before the COVID started. So once the COVID started, it was locked down. And since then, it's been, it's been almost a year of lockdown here, guys. Ish. It's been they have tried once in a while to open but before you know it they've closed so it was winter throughout now okay. we're getting it's getting warmer mm. so those mm. farmers markets start coming out in summer right okay when it's warm yeah so i haven't had the um, experience of buying from them or okay. to see the kind of produce they sell but okay. what i know is that sometimes depending on what they're selling it's sometimes it's also a bit expensive than going to Walmart. Yeah, it could Most be a bit expensive than Walmart, but I'm pretty yeah. sure it would be cheaper than going to the African market. But anyway, oh, at the yeah, same yeah, time, yeah, yeah. you you really wanna just support your Africans, I guess, like with their stores yeah, over there. Exactly, because uh, our, our friends from the West, like yeah. um, the Nigerians, yeah. they are so good guys. They are so good with opening those shops. Yeah. And when you go there, they they sell pretty much everything. Those palm oil, those mm -hmm. everything. It's mm. in there. So how so much would, would that cost you in the in the African market? So how much would you spend on a month? In in that in that African um, market, I, I should say maybe a hundred fifty or more, depending on wow. what I am buying. Sometimes okay. they do have uh, butchery butcheries in there. Oh, okay. So when it comes to the meat. Almost everybody that wants to save money, they go there. So in Walmart, I'll buy everything, the milk, the sugar, the salt, the cooking oils and, yeah. and what have you, but mm -hmm. I'll not buy meat because the meat in, in, in Walmart is very expensive. You know, they just cut that slice and put it in that tray and it's 20 something dollars. Ah, yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. Most of the African people don't mm. prefer buying meat in Walmart. We go okay. there. So you find people buying the whole lot of cow. And yeah, so the, the, there are four people and then they, they buy the whole lot. And ah, they share. share. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's clever. That's so clever. So you find yourself having lots of meat, different kinds of meat in the fridge because you've done that. So in Walmart, in Walmart, sorry, you would spend like how much? In Walmart, on, on a month, I spend about maybe 300 to $350. Remember, we're talking tea. about a total of about five hundred dollars just on food alone. Yeah, things here in in Toronto. Yes. Or no, I should say Canada. In yeah. Canada, on this one, things here are a bit expensive than US. That's why. Yeah, I think I yeah, I think so too. You're right on yeah. that part. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna laugh comparing to your five hundred um dollar spend on groceries per month here mm -hmm. in Zambia. We're only just spending a fraction of that and we're getting everything we want in that month. I know. And some of and some of those things that you're gonna get this month might even stagger to the next month. So like if you wanna just live nice and comfortable for a family of four in Zambia, you'll be spending about three thousand five hundred on groceries and that will last you the whole month. And you even have some left over for the following month. So we really save quite a fair bit here. And I think also the standard of living yeah. has a lot to do with that. So you can imagine you're spending yeah. 500, we're spending 153. Yo! I know, I know, I, I know, Crazy. right? Crazy. And, and you know, like that 500 in your country, um, in, in Zambia or Africa in general, it's a lot of money. 
that it's is a lot somebody, of money salary like someone yeah. who, who has a good job yeah exactly you know? yeah yep true yeah true. now we will go into wages probably now that we are talking about salary right yeah yeah wow well, yeah you can make that 500 in a week because you get remember we get paid um hour yeah so the minimum wage is about 11 to 14 dollars something like that now you find companies which are paying like 18 and 20 and 25 yeah so you choose to go to a 25 one and you work for the hours a week so you're getting quite a lot money yeah quite a lot yeah yeah i guess you know the 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 whole thing it comes down to standard of living and quality of living mm-hmm. and cost of living yeah um yours is higher ours is lower and we have like access to a lot of cheap stuff here so at the same time even as yeah. much as we can complain could you oh, some things are expensive we have access to a lot of cheap things like this mm-hmm. three thousand this this hundred and fifty and fifty dollars i'm telling you that we spent i'm looking at it mm-hmm. as in you have gone to a supermarket but if you're going mm-hmm. to buy your things from a local market or the wholesales you'll be spending yeah. like that so exactly exactly yeah. so yeah. um about wages like for you to live as a family of five like a standard family of five how much do you need to be earning after tax for you to be comfortable in toronto i am thinking something like at least starting from five thousand net that's net after taxes after everything i should be having five thousand in my yeah, account you must, yeah you must at least at least maybe combined um income right i am saying that because i need to pay my my car insurance i need to pay my my food and mm-hmm. then i need to pay my bill and then there's rent which is ridiculously expensive insurance my friend anywhere you go in the world i think rent gets a big chunk of your salary I know, Eva, you know when we were in australia Ish. when we were students how australia was expensive with rent the other house within 350 the other one was 400 but even though we were splitting, there were bills, you know, when you're a student, because yeah. most of the hours you're spending at uni, you have yeah. to fulfill those uni mm. requirements. Yeah. And working was a priority, mm. you know? So, and we were young, Eva. Talk about being young, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just miss <laughs> being young? <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> ah, can I be young again, eh? Aye. <laughs> Ah, Lord, can I be young again? Eva, Eva, we we grew up very fast because we were in our 17s and 18s when we go to Australia, right? Yeah, yeah. So we be, we we were forced to become adults before we could even enjoy anything about yeah. childhood. Yeah. Because we we had to learn to budget, we had to learn to pay fee. I mean to pay um bills, rent, mm-hmm. bills. You know. Yeah. How much is uh, fuel? Like a gallon? How much is a gallon of fuel there? Okay, a gallon depends, um, but mostly it should be between two fifty. Yeah, between two fifty to two ninety nine, maybe depending. But okay. there was a period of time when COVID had just started. Fuel went down. Ah, oh, interesting. I- I think even in Africa it went down. We were buying a gallon at like a dollar something, a dollar forty, a dollar fifty, sometimes a dollar twenty, a dollar ten. You know, yeah, it went down. I think in Africa, Zambia must be the cheapest place to buy fuel right now. I think, yeah, we're paying about two dollars thirty for a gallon. Oh wow! It must be the cheapest place in Africa right now because just about two weeks ago I had gone to East Africa and they are paying about three dollars for a gallon so yeah oh yeah that's expensive yeah yeah so to fill up your tank it, um you have to have about maybe 60 dollars yeah, yeah exactly, exactly i am talking about my tank for example mm-hmm. but don't you think like also with being in a place like um canada where it snows like for more than half the year don't you think it's better to have like um a bigger car like a, a what do you call these cars suv for me i have an suv and I think it, it, it works better for me with my family as well because mm-hmm. I've got the kids and this is a seven seater car, right? So it really does me good. Like I can have the whole, all the people in there and also do grocery shopping. Yeah. Uh, I prefer actually an SUV than, than these small cars, yeah. Now, okay. The other thing that I wanted to discuss was um, 
uh, school fees for children. Do you guys pay school fees over there? No. Serious? Yes. On that okay. part, on that part, you guys are living the life because school, no. If you and your child yeah. have a decent education, you have to take them to private school. But if you can't, you can still take them to public school, which is somehow free, but not so free. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know the details of um, public school here because my child goes to a private school. But I know that yeah. even though it's called free education, there's some things they have to pay. Do you guys have that as okay. well? Like some things that you have to pay for? Yeah. The, the little things that you might pay are things like they're going on a trip and they need those five dollars. Those are actually things you can choose for your child to go or not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But mm. if you call it anything like textbooks, computers, everything is been given to them so like my yeah like my my six year old who is a, a first grader he he gets um the ipad so he does his work on his apple ipad but it this, wait to the wait school. wait 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 this apple ipad he gets from school for free yeah 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 for free and and alicia who is in grade five she's actually graduating going to high school now okay mm-hmm. junior high right she gets um these new chromebooks for some are hp some are, um depending on the brand but he she uses those ones that flip over you can flip it it becomes like a tablet you can make it like it, it's a you know like a laptop uh chromebook thingy wow i think <laughs> when it comes to education you guys are chopping the charts seriously talking the yeah, so that's what, yeah definitely and that's what she uses for her um, assignments and they do get them from school wow that's amazing and that is, is amazing is school, right exactly yeah. this is a public school they've never been to a private school i don't see the the fuss about it hey, yeah but that's I don't, amazing I, don't see the I think on the education part you guys you've really done it you've really done it now yeah, the... am i not grateful because the schools that they go to, if I were to send them, if I were to send them to Malawi, they have to go to international schools, which would cost me lots of money. And then also now we go to the biggest consumer of our income, rent, rent hey. for a standard three bedroom hey. house. Hey, <laughs> in Toronto, in for me right now. how much are you paying for a standard three bedroom house? Hey. This one, when the man is getting to 26, 27, hey. not even doing like this. <laughs> They're like, no, wow, oh, hello, hello. What do I do? I do? Hey. <laughs> okay, so um, rent in Toronto for a three-bedroom house can can be something from 1,800 to 2,400. A three-bedroom from 1,800. So that is a yeah, it can be one thousand, and and when I'm saying one thousand eight hundred, it means it's not maybe in a very nice neighborhood, but where I live, it can be something from two thousand, at least two thousand two hundred. Because I know basement, you know, Toronto, we do have a lot of basement, so it's like me, I have my house and I have a basement, and I make it an apartment. Mm-hmm. So that can be two bedrooms or one bedroom i it doesn't really get to three bedrooms maybe but most common ones are one to two and yeah. those ones can range something from a, a thousand maybe 1200 to 1600 depending wow. on the neighborhood wow. depending on how nice the basement is mm-hmm. i know my friend my closest friend who lives in a basement She's got two bedrooms, a bathroom, toilet in there, and a kitchen, mm. and she pays one thousand five hundred. Oh, that's okay. Bed. That's okay, because you still get the yeah. same Toronto life, and it's just the the rent that is cheaper because exactly, you're staying in the basement. Exactly. Yeah, and I'm sure yeah. if you pick a nice basement, you'll be okay. Yeah, most most of the basements are very modern. You know, it would look like a normal house. The only difference is that the windows would be up. But for us yeah. here, I think if you want to live in a proper area, paying in a proper area, in a proper like standard area where it's pretty safe, you'll be paying something like a hundred and seventy dollars going upwards. So it doesn't, oh. yeah, a hundred and seventy per month in rent. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not it's not bad. bad. In total, like total expenses, rent included 
for the entire month living a comfortable life you would need about five hundred and seventy dollars going upwards for the whole month that's just expenses oh wow all the, yeah all the expenses but you know to get this type of salary here also it's a bit tricky so you'll be looking mm. at this salary this this amount could be like a combined income husband and wife or whatever yeah because to get this type of yeah. income you have to be doing your own business yeah or you have to be a couple earning separate incomes and putting it together yeah yeah because yeah, it's yeah. It yeah. does no, come I up think, with a lot of money. For me, I think for me in here, I would have to have between four thousand and five thousand for all the expenses to live comfortably. Yeah, and and you know we haven't talked about clothes and stuff like that, so we are just putting it all in general. But yeah, yeah we're just looking at basic that needs, I guess. Yeah, because you don't shop for clothes every day unless you're a shopaholic. In this pandemic, in this corona, my God, even all those shopaholics have just slowed down a little bit because there's no money coming in like the way it exactly, used to be. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and for yeah. people like me, for people like me who hate shopping, I think I buy clothes maybe in a year, maybe once or twice. Like, because when I buy oh, a voucher, wow. I'll buy in bulk. Like, even if I, I see a beautiful dress in the shopping in the shop window, it doesn't move me. Even if I see beautiful shoes, but you know where my money goes? Yeah, money goes to high-end restaurants. You That's just my weakness. told me. You just told me that you and your family, you people eat. When you are the one who is a foodie here. Yeah. <laughs> so my money, my money goes to food. Like for me, my weakness, my weakness is eating and eating really really good food that's my weakness for me about food i don't fancy restaurants because i feel like i can cook what those people can cook i love cooking my kitchen is my joy like my kitchen i love my kitchen to the point that i really don't like sharing my kitchen with anybody like i am telling you when someone is in my kitchen my heart just doesn't feel right yeah i see what you mean so mm. I, I I try to cook as much as I can. Mm-hmm. I bake as much as I can. I make snacks as much as I can. In a way, also it reduces the um, expenditure in the house. So I I buy. I've got lots of flour all the time. I must have flour in mm. my house yeah, because that's, that's I will cool. have to cook as much as I can. Bake as much as I can. Yeah. So for me, that's my money goes to flour. My guy. <laughs> flower, flower is your world. I, I think, I guess everybody has has this weird thing that they like the most. For me, I don't really, I can't really say I like cooking, but I don't like eating food that and I like. In, I don't like eating from other people's homes. So I oh, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can eat from a restaurant, but to eat from somebody's home. I don't know. I just find it to be very strange. Yeah, I, I, like my guy, when you come to my house, you they eat every day morning, night, yeah. tea, afternoon. Yeah. Ah, yeah. you know that I don't like eating in people's homes. I'll be like, eh, sit down, my friend, and eat. Darling, so <laughs> let me tell you the truth. I can't come to Toronto and be eating from your home. That is Toronto. That's a metropolitan place. Like I can't. I'm sorry, darling. You, if you are living in another place, like you're living in Ottawa or you're living in I don't know some weird some weird city. I would eat in your house. Yes. It's like telling yes. me to go to. Tell me to my guys that are restaurants. Hey, <laughs> if you want to kill me when I come to Toronto, make me eat your home cooked food <laughs> because I would die. I would literally die. Like I would die. From me, like whenever I travel, even if I go to Dubai, I go to Hong Kong, I go to Shani, you know, my friends would be like, let's go shopping. I'm like, let's go eating. <laughs> Bad. I am bad. Mm. I I literally turned like the last time before the before the lockdown. We went to Dubai with my friend, and she doesn't like eating. She's a shopaholic, mm. and I'm a foodie. So mm. the whole time she'll be in the shop shopping. Me, I just be looking at her. She'll be trying all of these clothes. I'm just looking at her. Then when she's done, I'm like, Are you done now? We're going to eat, right? So Let's like the first, eat. yeah, the first two to three days, she found it very strange. But as I'm speaking to you yeah. right now, this girl is more of a foodie than I am. Aish. Yeah, shopping yeah. for my son, I shop. But for me, yeah, I'll be like, no, no. I already have this. I already, and, I, and I don't like to have a big wardrobe as well. So, wow, I don't have time for shopping. Ah, all right, 
right, you guys, we've come to the um, end of our vlog. I hope you guys have uh, picked up one or two things about these two places that we are living in. It's really been nice having you, Eva, on my channel. So, yes, you guys, just yes. to tell you, me and Eva went to the same university uh, when we were at uni in those days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, we've been friends for, for so long now. Eish, but we man. Both, we both... I know. Very we both long. Have realized that we love vlogging and definitely we will have more collaboration. More and know. more and more and more. And I think you guys, if you can just help us with any more topics that you want to know, if it's about Canada, if it's about Zambia, and just give us a shout out uh, in the comment section below what you'd yeah. like to hear about these places yeah. or anything else yeah. you want to know. All right, so you guys, until next time, you've been with me, that is a tour. Remember to subscribe, share, and comment on the video. Otherwise, goodbye, guys. See you in the next video.